Howdy and welcome to my game room floor. Congratulations, you're finally here. I don't know about you, I'm running into space issues. It stresses me out to have too many things. I don't need all these games. I was keeping them so I would have boxes to show when I do lists and things like that. And I've just decided, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna take pictures. So I can always share pictures if needed, but there's no need for me to have this many games because I'm not a collector. I love collectors. I think it's great. I just, I'm not one. I don't have like a room for it. So I'm going to be going through all the games and showing you which ones I am going to be trading off or giving away or something like that. Probably trading off. I'll just take it to my local game store and why. So that's it. Let's go through all of them. Okay, Small Islands is staying because I haven't played it yet. It has a one player mode. Untold Adventures Await, storytelling game, haven't played it yet. It's gonna be featured, I'm gonna make this work. Um, it's gonna be featured pretty, actually this is comfortable. This is kind of cozy. Um, I've got Abandoned Planet. This is a multiplayer only, no solo mode. I got it as a party game. It's too complex for my party game group. So this is going to get traded on. We've got Mariposas, does not have a solo mode uh, from the same designer as Wingspan. Looks beautiful, but even at two player, I'd play with my sister when she visits, but that's very rare, so it's gone. Uh, let's see, Jaws, I'm on the fence about. Doesn't come with a solo mode, but it has a fan-made solo mode. However, it is, it is highly thematic and you know, you really play through the movie, so I'm on the fence. It's gonna stay for now. On Mars, Alien Invasion, absolutely staying. I adore On Mars. It's the one heavy Euro that I'm certain I want to keep. Escape Plan, Vital Lacerda, you'd be surprised, is going to go. Um, I'm starting to think, I'd actually like to do a video on it. I don't think I'm as much of a Lacerda fan as I thought. I love his designs. But Escape Plan just didn't, um, I enjoyed it. It didn't do, I'm, I'm not gonna, it's too much of, of a time investment for a heavy game. If I'm gonna play a heavy game, I'm gonna play on Mars. So too much of a time investment, and I don't think I'm a David Turchy fan so far. Uh, he does impeccable design. He does such a good design, but it's an investment in learning, and I didn't have fun. And that's the bottom line. So, um, you know, trash me in the comments if you want. Uh, it's, whenever I say something about a heavier game that I don't like, it's usually a reaction, but uh, not saying it's not good. I'm just saying it's too much of an investment for me. I would like for someone else to play it. I would like for someone else to play it and enjoy it. Age of Ultron Dice Masters doesn't have a solo mode, and as far as two-player dual games, um, I just don't see this one coming out. All right, let's see. We've got Either Fields. Either Fields is staying forever. That was my favorite game of last year. Nemesis, anything Nemesis stays. X-Men Dice Masters, same thing. There's no, um, it doesn't come with a solo mode. Looks fun and all that. I've never played it. It's been a year. It's not gonna get played. Justice League, also same deal. Two player and just, it's just not getting played, all right? And I don't know, this is that designer, Eric Lang, I think. I hope I got that right, Eric Lang. And I don't know if I like his designs or not. I, I don't know what I've played of his. I think he designed at least some of these, if not all of them. But um, yeah, this doesn't doesn't pull my interest. All right, got little Lord of the Rings box is staying. Hostage Negotiator Matt is absolutely staying. Big fan, love this thing. If you haven't tried it, a lot of people like Final Girl more and that's totally cool. Um, both great games. Extra, extra. This one I have been wanting to play because I love the, hold it up here, there we go. I love the artwork for Extra Extra. It is not a solo game, so I thought, heck, I'll make my own. I'm kind of over that. If you watched this channel earlier, I was making solo modes and I'm no designer. Um, so I have decided to humble myself and realize I just, um, I, I don't have the play test time or willingness to test that much or people to draw on to keep testing. So. I'm gonna, oh, I'm not ready to give this one up because the art is beautiful. Star Trek Expeditions absolutely is staying. Unsolved uh, case files, and this is fun. It has a solo mode, Star Trek Expeditions. It's based on the newer movies, and it's a, who's the designer? Somebody. He's a good designer, big name. I'm not really great. Oh, Rainer Knizia. And turns out I really like his designs. So, big fan, I'll take it. 
I've got um, unsolved case files right here. I want to play it. That you can get it at Target, Walmart, whatever. It's just a crime solving game with little artifact pieces, pictures, things like that. I've got the Rogue Angels prototype. Can't wait. I really hope that game sees the light of day someday. All right, New York 1901. I got just because I like the theme. It does not have a solo mode. It sat here for so long. I haven't heard amazing things about it, but you never know. I'm not quite ready. I'm not quite ready to let it go because I love that time era. So we're just going to have to wait and see. All right. Oh boy. Here we go. Kanban EV. Uh, I believe, I know on Instagram I've talked about Kanban EV. I know I've put it in the YouTube uh, community tab as well. And Kanban EV is going to go. I'm going to trade it because, again, pretty much every game I own is a good game. If it wasn't a good game, it's gone by now. So this is a fantastic game. It is considered the best solo mode by most. This and Escape Plan are considered the, the best solo modes generally of a Lacerda game with Kanban definitely being at the top. It's considered one of his lighter, easier to learn games. It is a David Turchy solo design again. And again, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like the corporate theme. The board is busy. Every Lacerda game is a busy board. For some reason, the On Mars board just isn't it doesn't make me dizzy. Like, I feel like I can distinguish the places. I can't do that with this one. Escape plan, even, I can distinguish the places. The gallerist, I can distinguish. I can't do that with Kanban EV. I did not enjoy my play of this at all. And it's such a good game. Someone else that does enjoy it, let them play it. All right. World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King. Absolutely, it's a pandemic system game, just like Star Wars Clone Wars or Pandemic, just a World of Warcraft theme. Absolutely. Batman The Dark Knight Returns, solo game with a two-player option. Come on, I love this game. I'm absolutely keeping it. Anything Robinson Crusoe stays. I've got Mystery Tales, I've got the Treasure Chest. These are both expansions to the base game. I have the deluxe version coming in this spring sometime, so we'll do a deep dive on that when it comes through. As far as the small boxes here, uh, let's see, we've got Hostage Negotiator. I'm not gonna pull these out. We've got Hostage, because they're all, almost all staying. Hostage Negotiator, the base game stays. Black Sonata is a hidden movement deduction game that is solo only. These are both single player games. Black Sonata is beautiful. Highly recommend, I've got a video about it. Check it out, Maquis. I've got a video about it, playing during the French Revolution, no, not the French Revolution, World War II in France when the Nazi occupation is happening. Agents trying to find, anyway, I'm keeping it. Big, easy busking. I love the artwork. I'm not gonna, I don't see myself pulling this out over these three, so I feel like it should go. Even though it's a great game, it is soloable. And you've got Fire in the Library, also soloable. This is a push your luck mechanic where you are trying to get books out of a library. The more you run in and get, the better. But each time you go in, you might lose everything. So good push your luck. Uh, the Handy Box of Knots, that's just fun. A little like Boy Scout stuff. Um, Russell's 1897. I made a solo mode for this and I made a video. I don't think, if we're being honest, I won't. I won't likely play either of these three again. So they need to go. I don't know if I'm there yet. I've got Marvel Champions. I'm going to I'm I'm personally done with Marvel Champions. I enjoyed my like 10 plays of it or so. I did enjoy it. It's just not for me. It if I'm playing a, a living card game, I would get Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm just not that into it. People love it, so I should trade this on, um, but I do, uh, let's see, Lux Eterna. Lux Eterna is solo only. I don't know if I'm likely to play it again, but I played it a lot, so I should trade that along as well. I don't know if I'm ready. And Ninjak, the Valiant Un versus the Universe, has a solo mode. I haven't played it yet. I'm looking forward to it, so that's staying. Don't worry, games are leaving. Final Girl Core Box, I'm keeping because I want to play the Alien box. 
when it comes out. Uh, bees. Looks beautiful. Van Ryder Games, I love their stuff, but this does not have a solo mode. It's a beautiful nature-themed game, card game, and it needs to go because I will never... Do I need to get pictures first? You let me know. You guys let me know in the comments. Please let me know. Keep or call. I don't know. You tell me, and I will do what you pick. All right, I've got my time stories that I haven't played yet, and these do, I, I hear you can play time stories solo, even though it doesn't say that, but I also have time stories revolution, which has a solo mode built in, so I can't wait to play those. Duffers, the golf game, has a great little solo mode. It's fun enough. Um, I think I'll prefer it multiplayer because there's like a market to buy from that you don't have in the solo game. The solo game is um, just a variant of card solitaire, really. Glorified card solitaire, but it's fun. So I'm keeping it. Uh, De Detective, the will without an heir was fantastic. It's a one-time play. I may as well give it to someone else. Pignant, uh, it's just not that exciting, okay? It's a solo card game where you are creating works of art and that's neat, but I have another game, uh, Canvas, that's better. So it's going, and I've decided Brussels 1897 is gonna go. So let's get that out. I've also decided that Big Easy Busking can go. If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. It's same with Fire in the Library. Fantastic games. I would like for others to get the chance to play them. Next, we've got the Hunted series. Hunted Kawabashi Tower and Hunted Mining Colony something something something. This is Aliens and it's a dexterity game. It's a dexterity game. So you have to like throw things and they have to land in a target in order to chase the aliens away. I love it, beautiful artwork, simple, nothing like outstanding. Same with Kawabashi Tower. Um, I mean, the Bruce Willis guy, just he's the man, he's awesome, he's super cool. Um, I wanna be a cool dude like that, so there we go. Before we do our next shelf, quickly, a word from our sponsor. A man of mystery, world traveler, dice handler. He's the man who always places his bet. He's... Solo Mike. He can cross a stream with no need for a mech. His name is... Solo Mike. He loves to have fun. He plays board games for one. He's... Solo Mike, Solo Mike, Solo Mike. The Solo Mike action figure is available now from SirMeeple.com while supplies last. Solo Mike. If you would like to buy your own Solo Mike figurine just go to sirmeeple.com link is in the description below you can also get my shirts support the channel and look like a stud sitting on the floor in front of a camera talking to the wall all right anyway pulp detective solo only game i absolutely love this i don't recommend it for people that aren't just big fans of like the pulp era artwork and detective style it's not really solving crimes i've got a whole video on it but i love it to me it's a work of art Okay, which side are you on from Yeast Games? I can't wait to play this. You can look on Board Game Geek. I don't care much for ratings, but it's rated really high. And this has a solo mode, one to four players. This is gonna be on the heavier side of things. And this, I just like Yeast Games. Alex is like the man, uh, a lot of fun. But I'm looking forward to playing it. It's, he's a historian, Alex, a designer. And it's historical events about the labor movement in New York. I think it sounds fantastic. I can't wait to play it. That is staying. In Dreams, my little, uh, I've got a video about this. A little storytelling card game. I love it. It's like an RPG kind of thing, solo RPG. Omicron Protocol, did a video about it. Staying. Xenoshift, Dreadmire, has a solo mode. Haven't played it yet. I just got it from like Odd Lots or Big Lots or Ollie's, something like that for like $10. Can't wait. All right, Cyber Doom Tower. So I've got a video about it. Cyber Doom Tower solo game where you're going up this 80s cyberpunk tower. I love it. It's staying. Bell of the Ball does not have a solo mode. Played this with my sister. Really enjoyed it. Each of you is hosting a party and you get to do little like scandalous things to interfere with the other person's party. You're trying to have the best party. I'm never going to get a chance really to play it again. I do love it. I do recommend it. I would like someone else to get to play it. Chronicles of Crime, not my favorite of the crime games at all. I am keeping it uh, just in case others, like a lighter party game group or something, wants to try it. It's there. Either field stretch, I mean, come on, either field is stay. I love it. Massive Darkness is actually going to go. And this, so I really enjoyed this. I actually played a good 10 games, maybe. 
Let me, give me a second to get it out here. So this is truly a, dun this is probably the only true dungeon crawler that I own. I'm not a huge dungeon crawler guy. I, I do like them. I do. I enjoy them. Not enough to keep it. I've gotten what I want out of it, and I wasn't super impressed with the experience system. It's more like Mage Knight, where you, it, each game is a standalone game. You gain experience within that game, and then when you finish, you're done. It's not so much like a Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth, where you gain experience to carry over into the next. They have a mode for it, but it really just makes you overpowered, in my opinion. So if you like the Mage Knight style, which I'm not crazy into, uh, then this is great. So someone needs to play this because I, I think this is such a fantastic dungeon crawler. Just your basic medieval, go into a dungeon, fight monsters, gain gear, gain loot. It's fun. Taco Bell Party Pack. One to six, actually it's not, it's like two to six players or something like that. I did make a solo mode. There is a video up. It's very embarrassing. Um, don't find it. But anyway, I did make a solo mode for it. Of, I have so many party games now that are great for, because my game group is, uh, they have to, I have to be able to teach it within, you know, like three minutes. It has to be, or one minute, you know, can't take long. So this is great, but I've got better games, so someone else can enjoy it. Pendulum, I haven't played yet, but I want to, because it's a real-time game. It has a solo mode. Stonemire, I love Stonemire. So, Walk the Plank um, is just a card game. I'm not sure what it's like, I have no idea, but the artwork I thought was funny. It makes me laugh, so I want to I want to try it. So that's going to stay, but it doesn't have a solo mode, so hey. Bonnie and Clyde is a work of art. I love this game, solo game. I've got several videos on it, and you can check any one of them out, including a tutorial, which is my worst tutorial of all, but it's what I could do, so there you go. One Night Ultimate Super Villains is going to go because they have One Night Ultimate Superheroes and there's only like one extra villain or something. There's no reason for me to have two of these. It's a party game. It's like One Night Ultimate Werewolf, just a different theme where each of you has hidden role blocks. All right, we're running out of time. Leaders of Euphoria, I hear that this actually has a solo mode if you get another expansion, but it's also a social deduction party game. So it's staying until I play it. Murder on the Cosmic Express is going to go. It's fun. This is also a social deduction party game. Does not have a solo mode where you're just trading cards around trying to figure out who the murderer is, but and it plays within five minutes. But I'd rather play this than this. So it's cool. I probably won't play it again. And I got it for free. I went to Books a Million and I went to the cash register and she was like, oh, it's discounted to free. I walked out with it. Hey, I've never had that happen. Black Spy is only three to six players, but it is a traditional card game with a little twist. I want to have that just in case I have a card playing group so I can try it. So I'm going to keep it for right now. Juicy Fruits, fun little family game. Artwork leaves a lot to be desired. Oh my goodness, it's got that like Mage Knight style experience board that's huge and unnecessary. I don't know why they do that, but whatever. There it is. But you know what? It's fun. It's staying. It's a family game. I'm not getting rid of it yet. Intrepid Mission Critical. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've only gotten to play it a couple times, so I want to get some more plays out of that. I've got a video on it, put it up recently, that has a solo mode as well. You're on a spaceship trying to save the world. I can't tell you about all these games. I can't keep telling you about all these games. Oh my goodness. But yeah, you're on a space station trying to save the Earth from certain disaster. And you're like monitoring all the space station boards. All right, Token Terrors Battlegrounds. This is two player. There is no solo mode and it broke my heart. Um, but now that my son's in town, I get to play some of these with him, so we're going to see if he's going to want to play this one. All right, let's see. I've got Cosmic Run Regeneration. Cosmic Run Regeneration has a solo mode. This is by Dr. Finn, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a push-your-luck game where you're trying to get to planets before they get destroyed by asteroids, and if you're playing multiplayer, you're racing each other. If you're playing solo, you're racing against the asteroids to save the planets or get to the planets before they're annihilated. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Simple game, so easy to learn. All right, I've got the Butterfly, so we've got some beautiful games. The Butterfly Garden kind of reminds me of Bees. It doesn't have a solo mode. It is so beautiful though, that for, and it's easy to learn, that for maybe when my sister visits, I, I would enjoy this game, this game with her. So I'm gonna keep it. Sweetlandia, a fun bidding game. I made a solo mode. It's old, again, embarrassing. Uh, I'm embarrassed of everything I made a year ago, and hopefully in a year I'm embarrassed of everything I made now, because hopefully it's better. 
But Sweet Landia we've got right here. I'm going to pass it on. It does have water damage, so I might just give it away for free. But it's a fantastic bidding game. I love it. I just, I know it's not going to come out. Ugh, knocking stuff over. Gravy Davis. All right. Armonia I got actually for my, I don't know what you call them, step nieces or something like that. Stepdad's granddaughter. Tell me what that is. I don't know. Armonia. It's like a kid's game from Stonemeyer. Does not have a solo mode. And it, we're just not going to play it. So there we go. Queen's Necklace. I just love the artwork. Doesn't have a solo mode. Got it off Noble Knight for really cheap. I'm keeping it until I can play it because I think it looks, I love that, like the watercolor. I mean, just look at, look at that. I have no idea what it's about. I don't know a thing. It's staying. Jurassic Park un Unmatched, absolutely. I get to play this uh, with a little buddy. It's good fun. Dr. Saddler versus T-Rex. If you've ever done the Unmatched system, it's a two-player game where you're in an arena pitted against each other. Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Dr. Saddler. How cool is that? Come on. Awesome. New location, teleport, maybe better lighting too. We'll see, you let me know, let me know. Okay, we've got hostage negotiator, crime wave, and all the hostage negotiator stuff. Career, all the expand, there's so many card packs, I've got a video about it. Solo only game, it's staying. Deadline is a, another pulp detective style game. I just love the artwork, the gameplay is Good. It's like um, you are creating a chain of cards by matching icons and then you are able to unlock clues to solve a mystery. I like the solving a mystery part, but the game runs pretty long. It doesn't have a solo mode. I made a solo mode for it. It Basically, you just control two hands, sort of, with like a couple modifications. So I don't recommend it for others, but I love it. I love it. So yeah. Uh, Rocketman looks boring as can be, but... I've got to play a Martin Wallace game. I have to play a Martin Wallace game, so I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to give it a try. It has a solo mode. Can't tell you anything about it. The Scarlet Pimpernel has an unofficial solo mode, Eagle Griffin Games. This is a beautiful game. It's hard for me to look at you and talk into the microphone. Maybe if we try this. We're going to get this down. We're going to get this. All right. Uh, signature Edition. This is beautiful. I love it. So it's staying in my collection. I played it two player and I played it solo. I enjoy it. It's just rotten fun where you're trying to get in each other's way to become like the Scarlet Pimpernel's best friend. And who doesn't love best friends? Power of friendship. Time stories. I already talked about that staying. Detective City of Angels. Come on if you've watched this show. E anything that uh, Evan Derrick touches, I'm a big fan of as long as I can play it. And Obsession, Expansions, Obsession, Pride and Prejudice as a board game, don't need to say more. Funkoverse doesn't interest me in the slightest. I got it just because it's Jurassic Park. And I don't think it belongs in my collection. So I'm going to pass it on. But I haven't played it. No solo mode. I'd rather play Unmatched, personally. I just visually, I like it more. Scythe, the complete collection with the box, it's staying. Come on, love Scythe. And Power Rangers, Heroes of the Grid, I want to play again. I want to play it more. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just haven't played it enough. So it is going to stay because I thoroughly enjoy it that much. And it's a cooperative game. If you are playing solo, you're controlling several characters. So it's a lot to play solo. I don't actually want to play it solo. I have no desire. I do want to play it multiplayer. So I'm going to keep it just for that. Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth, one, it's one of my favorite Overland uh, either fields I enjoy more, but they're different games, completely different. Creature Comforts, can't wait to play it. Uh, Sir Meeple sent this to me, I um, couldn't thank him enough. This is a 1-5 to five player family game, don't know anything about it, but I'm going to play it with family. Jurassic Park Unmatched again, it's just the different one of like InGen versus Raptors. Uh, again, I've got somebody, I've, I've got a little buddy that likes to play those, so hey, let's do it. I've got Unbroken. Unbroken is a solo game, which I am looking forward to. It's like a solo survival in a dungeon kind of thing with a bunch of cards. That's all I know. I can't wait to play it, so it's staying. Then I've got Epic, Tiny Epic something. Tiny Epic. This is not an ideal corner. Tiny Epic Quest. I have to play this. It's a solo game. People really praise the Tiny series, so I need to get this played. And believe it or not, I do get all these games 
plate. I, they don't sit for too long, so let's see. All right, and then we've got streets. I know nothing about streets. It does have a solo mode, so I'm gonna try it out. All right, let's see our final shelves here. I do have another shelf in the living room, but that's already filtered for what I'm keeping, so we won't go there yet. All right, so I've got Overboss here, and I showed you Bonnie and Clyde. I'm gonna be selling those off. So I've got Overboss, which is an 8-bit from Brotherwise Games. They do the series of Cicaldo Adventure. That's what it is, Stormlight Archives, that kind of thing. So looking forward to playing this. You basically work as the bad guy. You basically Bowser, something like that. Robinson Crusoe, again, staying. Maracaibo, I'm going to make myself play. I feel like I should. I, I don't have great interest. Here's what I mean. When I say I don't have interest in playing, I mean I don't have interest in teaching myself to play solo. Because it's a lot of work, and I think you understand that if you play solo. So that's why I am I do videos like this, but hopefully there's other helpful ones that help you learn games a little easier. Maracaibo, if someone else taught me and we played it in a group, totally fine. Same with the Lacerda games I'm selling off. I'll play them with others and it's fine. The investment for the solo game, it doesn't pay off. I get the gut feeling that's what Maracaibo is going to be, but I feel like I have to try it, so it's not going yet. The initiative is done, but the thing is, it is a game... What do I do? Do I throw away the box? You know, because I can't sell it on because you have to alter components and I don't know how to alter them back to their original state. And I hate throwing a game away. So, and it is replayable once you finish it. I'm not gonna replay it. I finished the story, I'm done. It has a solo mode. It's a like code breaking story game. Kids on bikes, super cute. Um, super sweet family game. So I, I don't know what to do with it. Should I get rid, should I just recycle it or something? I don't know. Uh, Star Trek Frontiers is basically Mage Knight Star Trek theme. I feel like I should keep it because it has a solo mode, of course. It's Mage Knight, but Star Trek. Because it's such an iconic solo game, I'm never going to play it again. Um, because you have to memorize so many rules. This is a game that you have to devote time to. And when you come back to it, you have to devote time to it again. I didn't enjoy it enough because it, every game is standalone. Again, kind of like Massive Darkness or kind of like Marvel Champions. So I think that's just something that's not for me. I like a story, a legacy or something that keeps going and building instead of the standalone game. So, uh, but I mean, my, my goodness, like what a fantastic game. I can't praise it enough. Nemesis, everything Nemesis stays. I'm a huge Nemesis fan. It's basically Aliens, Survival. I've got, I've got videos on it, check them out. All right. Escape the Dark Sector is a space survival game. I'm keeping it. It's nice and creepy, storytelling. You're flipping over cards, rolling dice, playing as characters, collecting items, getting them fights. You know, it's good. Red Rising. Red Rising surprised me for Solo. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this, this card game. I guess it's a deck builder. It's a deck builder of sorts. And I don't know if I will get a chance to play it again, but I want to play it again. Hmm, what do y'all think? You are going to have to help me. Let me know in the comments. Keep it or pass it on. Let me know. Marvel Smash Up, I got, even though it's not got a solo mode, just because a uh, Smash Up guy on Instagram. And it looks like a great game to play with someone. I don't know if I'll ever get it played, and I'm not a Marvel fan. So I feel like I should give it a chance. All right, Heroes Crossing, absolutely going to stay. This multiplayer game with the solo mode. Solo mode needs work, okay? I've got a whole video on it and why, but I love it so much. It's an 8-bit game where you play as villagers in the town trying to attract the heroes so that they come to your shops. If you played 8-bit games on the uh, NES, SNES, all that, then this is your jam. I love it. Grand Austria Hotel is ugly as ugly can get, as with so many of Lookout Games' artwork. But what a wonderful game doesn't come with a solo mode. It has a fan-made solo mode that was so well done that it was included in the deluxe Kickstarter or something like something like that. I printed it out. So I'm keeping it because I love the theme. I love the gameplay. Uh, but man, overhaul that art for something so beautiful. Come on, you know? It's lovely. But that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. We've got other videos coming up. We've still got the Board Game Buyer's Guide for 2023. I've got a fun video actually that I'm recording tomorrow. You're going to meet someone new. 
and uh, shenanigans are coming back. If you watch this channel, you know I did some rather stupid things, uh, but I was doing them alone, which is hard, so I may or may not have a partner in crime, so stick around. I love you all. I'm going to see you next time. Mm -hmm.